De splinter naar direct over What's up folks? I'm in Amsterdam today. I'm going to shop for some stationery and enjoy the autumn colors. Beautiful grass and tram tracks. cliche about this city is true it smells like weed everywhere weed and cigarette smoke disgusting first target acquired Posthumus. a shop where you can buy stamps These are all stamps. Oh my god. So beautiful. This store was way too dangerous. Oh my god. Spent 60 euros here on stamps and ink. This is a stationery store that is not done amongst stationery lovers. They're, they have fallen from grace. The paper quality is shit these days. Yet I'm gonna go in. Sorry. Bought nothing, of course. The shop was empty too, so that's an indication that no one likes moleskin anymore. Finally, some autumn colors here.
Target acquired Ackermann. And this is where you can buy the really expensive fountain pens. And good ink. I'm gonna buy these. asked the lady in the store for some advice on um, which fountain pen I could buy. I have two at the moment and she told me oh you should save money and buy one with a golden nib. And I asked why? What, what's so special about a golden nib? And apparently it's, the writing experience is very soft, like smooth as butter, she said. So I'm about to spend a lot of money in that place but first um, I'm gonna enjoy the purchases I made today. I'm not gonna buy a fountain pen just yet. What the fuck is that? Of the video I'll show you what I bought yesterday 
So at Ackermann I bought the Rotring 600 mechanical pencil, 0.5 millimeter tip width, and some pencil fillings to go with it. I just chose HB because this is all new to me, the pencil world. I bought some extra stickers for my traveler's notebook and a brass clip to keep the page down while I'm writing. So that was it for Ackermann, except when I opened my paper bag, suddenly I received this fountain pen. It's a Sailor Tuzu. I did not purchase this fountain pen, so I'll have to go back to the store on Monday because I doubt they will give me a 50 euro gift on a 60 euro purchase. Seems like a mistake. And then in the other store, the Post Hummus store, the one that I first went to, I bought these stamps, a cute cat, a Christmas kind of three, tree, a feather stamp and a mushroom stamp and two types of ink, a dark green one and a black one. And it looks like this as a test in my Hobonichi home. The cat one is the most finicky one. This is the second attempt, looks a lot better. But the other ones are really nice and easy to use. So I'm really happy with that. And now it's time to close out the video, even though it's already the next day over here. Oops. But I hope you enjoyed this little visit to Amsterdam. I enjoyed it mildly because it was really, really crowded and the city center of Amsterdam starts to feel like Disneyland to me. But I did enjoy the two stores I visited a lot. And let's forget about the Moleskine store, shall we? All right, see you in the next one. Bye bye.